Hello everyone. Welcome each one of you to the senior uh, wing of St. Joseph. Uh, we haven't met uh, uh, in person but I hope very soon we all will meet. Uh, I am Rajin Andrews, the Geography Coordinator of Class 9. I know the lockdown period is a very, uh, very tough to deal with, but it is the only solution to stop the spread of COVID-19. Uh, I hope everybody is following the instruction of the government uh, by staying home and uh, we are trying our best to make use of this free time. Okay. So today we are going to start, uh, we are going to start uh, the geography classes. So today's class, I am just going to explain you with the syllabus and the question paper pattern of class 9. Okay. So this is, uh, uh, this is the content, the chapters which you have to study. All together 20 uh, chapters are there. Okay. All together 20 chapters are there. But in these 20 chapters, uh, it is divided into 9 set. Okay? It is divided into 9 set. From each set, one question used to come. From each set, one question used to come. So what you have to do? We have to mark it. First, in the first set, there are 3 chapters. Earth as a planet, geographical grid. Uh, longitude and uh, latitude and longitude and the third one is rotation and revolution this is the set one so th these three based on single theme and one question come out of these uh, three chapters second set there are four uh, there are three chapters earth structure landform of the earth and rock this will be considered one because the same thing uh, the structure of the earth and one question will come out of these three. Third set has four chapters that is volcano, earthquake, weathering and denudation and uh, out of these four chapters there will be one question in the question paper. There is the 11th chapter in the third unit hydrosphere and it is set four and the single chapter uh, single chapter uh, and uh, out of this chapter, the 10 marks question, that is the single question, will come in the exam. Fifth set has two chapters, the composition and the structure of the uh, atmosphere and insulation. In set 6, there is only one chapter, that is atmospheric pressure and wind. So one chapter, one question. So this set is important one. Set 7 also have single chapter, that is humidity. So single chapter, one question. Now, set 8 has 4 chapters, that is pollution, source of pollution, effect of pollution, preventive, of, preventive measures, clear. So, out of these 4 chapters, one question will come and that is set 8. Now, here, the set 9, that is the natural region of the world. This is also single chapter, but this chapter is quite lengthy chapter. And uh, from this chapter also one question will come in the question paper. So altogether 20 chapters are there in geography and 9 sets are there. Clear? Uh, out of 9 sets, 9 questions will be there in the question paper. And out of 9 questions, you have to attempt any 5. That is a choice. Okay. Now we are going to discuss the question paper, uh, question paper pattern of class 9. So this is our question paper. Clear? The duration of this question paper will be 2 hours and the paper will be out of 80 marks. This two question paper used to have two parts. First part and second part. First part is obligatory. It means it is compulsory. There is no choice in that. In first part, there is two questions. First question, in which short answer type questions will be asked and number of questions will be 10 and each question will carry two marks. Second question is a, a map filling and that will be world map and 10 questions will be there and each will carry one mark. Okay, so 20 plus 10, 30 marks. Part 1 will carry 30 marks. 
Second part, all together nine question will be there. As we have discussed in content, there are nine set. From each set, these questions is allotted. Clear? Right. So all together nine questions are there, and here is choice. You have to attend any five out of nine question. Clear? Each question uh, carry ten marks, and each question used to have sub division. Not necessary, may or may not be, right? And uh, that will be A, B, C, D. Okay. So this is the description of the uh, the question paper. Now we are going to start the first chapter, right? First chapter, uh, the Earth as a planet. So we are going to start the first chapter, Earth as a planet. We all know that the Earth is the most beautiful planet in our solar system. It is the only planet which supports life. Uh, from the space, the Earth looks blue because 70% of its total area is covered by water and it is called watery planet. Uh, the family of the sun is called solar system and we know that the members of the solar system are placed at a certain distance from the sun. The chief member of the solar system, each one of us know that total nine planets are there. In order of their distance from the sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. In this chapter, we are going to read the third planet of the solar system, that is Earth. Generally, people think that Earth is a, uh, is a perfect sphere, otherwise perfect round in shape. But, uh, but it was not before. In olden days, people used to consider the Earth, uh, the Earth is a flat disk, but uh, gradually, by number of scientists and explorers proved that earth is not flat disk but it is a rounded sphere. But today's studies says that earth is not a perfect sphere. It bulges slightly at the center and is flattened at the pole. Clear? So here I would like to show you a correct shape of the earth. So here, here on the screen you are able to see a diagram and in this diagram you will be able to see the poles of the earth is flattened and it is broad at the equator. Clear? How we come to this conclusion, ki why it is in such a shape, for that we will just see the next heading. The earth, uh, uh, earth oblates a Freud. The earth is said to be the spherical, but it is not a perfect sphere. Its diameter varies at the equator and at the pole. It means if we will see pole to pole, right, and equator, if we check the diameter, it is entirely different. If it is perfectly sphere, it should be the same. Just see here, it, uh, it, uh, it, uh, diameter at the equator is 12,756 km. But at the pole diameter, if you will check, it is 12,714 km. So this shows that it is not perfect sphere, but it is flattened at the pole and bulges out at the equator. The next heading of this chapter is Earth as the home of humankind. As we have already discussed that Earth is the only planet where life is. Life is there. Clear? So here we are going to discuss the main features which make the Earth as a living planet. And the, there are seven reasons. Okay? The first one is the distance from the sun. Second is temperature. Third is atmosphere. Fourth one is water, fifth is lithosphere, sixth biosphere and seventh one is life giving cycles. And uh, I hope you must have gone through these all headings and these all causes in your previous classes. But still we will just uh, revise once again. So first heading we will take the distance from the sun. 
uh, these clips which I am showing on the screen, these all are the a part of your textbook. I know that textbooks are not with you, so you can read with these these uh, uh, parts which I am displaying here. So first is distance from the sun. As we know that the earth is at the optimum distance. It means it is uh, not very close to the sun, neither it is far from the sun. Clear? So the distance is very optimum. Uh, or optimum clear and only because of that the life become possible on earth now the second features which make the earth as a living planet is temperature uh, uh, for the existence of life 17 degree which is mentioned here actually uh, it is not 17 it is 14 degree 14 degree uh, is the ideal temperature for existence of life on earth. The, uh, the so plants, the insects, the human beings, clear these all things, uh, all things requires a ideal temperature and 40 degree temperature is the ideal temperature. Uh, uh, temperature. And uh, this is because ki, uh, earth is the third planet from the sun. Okay, so the average temperature of the earth is 14 degree. Here the second point is explaining about the global warming. Uh, each one of us know that ki the temperature of the earth is rising. It means it is, uh, it is increasing more than 14 degree. In case if it happens, then the number of species will disappear from the earth. Clear? So uh, the ideal temperature should be 14. It has to be maintained but it is not because of the excess pollution, greenhouse gases is increasing in the atmosphere which is rising the temperature of the earth. So ideal temperature is must. Next point is explaining about the Mercury and Venus. You must be knowing that if you see in order, if you see in order, the first planet in the solar system is the Mercury. But if you see uh, 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 Mercury is not as hot as Venus because the atmosphere of Venus is mainly made up of carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gases and what is the work of greenhouse gases it is capturing the heat from the terrestrial radiation okay so they are capturing more heat and making uh, Venus more hotter and Mercury don't have uh, uh, atmosphere and that's the reason uh, Venus become warmer than the uh, Mercury. Now here is the third uh, feature which make the life possible on earth is atmosphere. Atmosphere is a blanket of air which wrap the earth and in this atmosphere the is life-giving gases okay La uh, there are life-giving gases and uh, and there are uh, uh, other than the life-giving gases there are number of other gases we can call it a mixture of gases like nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide helium argon etc but maximum amount of gas which is present in the atmosphere is nitrogen which is uh, supportive to the life on, on earth and same time oxygen we know that without oxygen we cannot survive human being cannot survive and carbon dioxide is also very much important for the vegetation plants tree right so in that way the life giving uh, gases are present in the atmosphere which make life possible on earth as we know that atmosphere receives a huge amount of heat from the sun Right, which is called as a solar radiation and these heat makes the earth warm and at night when the earth start leaving its heat which is called as a uh, terrestrial radiation so there is a the balance uh, the balance of heat uh, used to be maintained by the atmosphere which is uh, uh, which is helping to maintain the temperature of the earth uh, next important point is uh, uh, ozone which is present in the atmosphere here this ozone gas which is present in the atmosphere is working like a filter right 
it observes the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun clear and it is a stopping them and reflecting back to the space and in that way it is protecting the earth from this harmful rays as we have already studied ke earth is a blue planet why it is so because earth is a watery planet with 70% of earth surface being covered by water and distribution of water is responsible for the moderating climate surface condition on the earth you must remember the water cycle which we have studied in a smaller classes clear water cycle and how the water uh, used to uh, used to uh, collect in the ocean and the sunlight uh, makes it warm right and become uh, forms the cloud clouds again gives rain and the rain water again come back to the ocean so this water cycle uh, this uh, water cycle is uh, 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 maintaining maintaining the moderate climate on the surface of the earth uh in your previous classes you must have uh, uh, read the latent heat and in that we have studied how the water droplet uh change into uh, water vapor when they are observing the heat right when the the when the water vapor leave the heat that water vapor turn back to water droplet so here we can see the water which is present on earth it means which is uh, it, it, in the huge amount of water is in the ocean can observe enormous amount of heat without causing much change in the temperature uh, we know that ki during the day time uh, we used to feel it used to have a fairly cool temperature why it is so because the the solar radiation uh these heat used to be observed by the ocean clear during the night when there is no solar radiation at that time these water bodies start releasing huge amount of heat out and make the night uh a uh, uh, warmer right warmer so in that way these water body also maintaining the temperature on the surface of the earth now three more uh top three more feature has to be discussed that is solid crust biosphere and uh, a life giving cycle which we will uh, which we will discuss in our next class right so here we have to re revise once again what all things we discuss first we have discussed earth as a beautiful planet clear and uh, after that we have discussed the shape of the earth and the shape of the earth what we have learned that it is uh, it's flattened at the pole and uh, bulge out at the equator and this we have seen through the the measurement of the diameter uh, diameter of equator and the diameter of the polar here and after that we have revised we have gone through the features which make the life possible on earth in that we discussed the ideal distance from the sun the ideal temperature which make life possible on earth the presence of atmosphere where are where where there are number of life giving uh, gases clear and the, the most important the water which make the life possible 70% of water and same time it is maintaining the temperature uh, the water hydrological cycle or water cycle we have discussed clear and how these uh, these uh, these uh, uh, water is observing heat and maintaining the temperature of the earth clear so i hope uh, the revision the matter which i have uh, shown to the screen you just read out once again uh, whole book i cannot the important point i just uh, given to you to read i hope uh, you will adjust uh, with this new method of teaching and uh, you will learn clear and if you feel difficult please uh, let us know through the messaging on the eke panel clear and uh, we are going to meet in the next class stay home stay safe